Hello everyone and welcome back to learning how to interact with a blockchain with Web3 Python. In this lecture we're going to learn how to connect to the Ethereum mainnet with an HTTP provider such as Infura. An HTTP provider is a remote node provider. So previously we saw how to use a tester provider. We can also use a local provider. For that, we would have to run a local blockchain like Ganache, and we'd have to run the file locally as well, not on Google Colab. And then we can also use a remote node provider like HTTP. So that's what we'll do in this lecture. All right, so we're going to create a new code cell, and we're going to instantiate Web3 again. But this time, instead of using the Ethereum tester provider, we're going to use Web3.http provider. And in here, we have to pass in a URL for our provider. So we'll create provider URL. This provider URL, it's going to be a variable that we'll create, which will be a string. So how do we get the URL for a provider that is an HTTP provider? Well, one remote node provider we can use is Infura. There are other options out there, but Infura is a very popular one. In order to get a URL to the Infura remote node provider, all you have to do is go to the website infura.io and create a new free account. Then you can create a new project. The product will be Ethereum and the name can be interact with web three pi. Then hit create. Okay, now in my case, I've gone over the project allotment for this account. So I can use one of my old projects as well. Okay, so here, once you have a project, you can see the activity of the project. You can also go to project settings in the top right. In project settings, you have your name of the project and you also have your keys and your endpoints. So here, you can select an endpoint like the mainnet, which is the main Ethereum network, Robson, which is a testing network, Coven, Rinkby, also testing networks and other networks. You can also have other networks like Polygon and Arbitrum, which are extensions of the Ethereum blockchain. And for that, you just have to create a billing or a billable account on Infra. But otherwise, the most popular ones are free. So let's select the endpoint being the mainnet, the main Ethereum blockchain. Then we can copy this URL, an HTTPS URL to the mainnet.infura.io. And then this is our endpoint. So we can use Infura to get a custom endpoint to the Ethereum blockchain. So you should create your own endpoint. Otherwise, I might delete this one if I delete this project. And you can select what network you want to connect to. There's Robson, which is an Ethereum test network, or mainnet, another example, the Ethereum mainnet. So let's copy the link to the mainnet, the HTTPS version. The WSS is an alternative version. Then let's go back to our Google Colab file and paste in the URL. This will be our provider URL. Okay, so you want to get your own connection. All right, then you can already connect to Web3 via your HTTP provider, which is now Infura. Okay, so you can check, is Web3 connected again? In this case, true. Okay, if you put in some kind of invalid URL and try again, you'll see false. Okay, so you have to have a valid provider URL. Awesome, so that is how you can connect to the Ethereum mainnet with an HTTP provider such as Infura. There are other options out there, but Infura is quite popular. You can also connect to other nets, not just the Ethereum mainnet. The Ethereum mainnet uses real Ether for transactions, but you can use other networks like Robston or Rinkby. Robston and Rinkby they are going to use test ether so you can use free ether for testing coming up next we're going to continue our project and we're going to learn how can we interact with 
the Ethereum blockchain in Python. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.